Kristen Reynolds. Go ahead, come on down. She did, come, come right down here, right down here, right here, right here. There you go. She did uh, Penn Foster, and then she's going to continue her education with Penn Foster. We have a gift for you. Got you a Bible and a bunk cake. So come right down here. Come stand over here. I'm kind of jealous about them bunk cakes. All right. Emily McPherson. Yeah. Oh, snuck up on me. All right. Here. Go ahead. Brianna Salazar. So uh, Emily graduated from Central High going to SDSU, and she's going to be roommates with Bree, who graduated from Stevens, also going to SDSU. Carly Thomas, graduating, what's the word? Sal salutatorian. salutatorian. Graduating salutatorian from Douglas High School. Continuing education fall 2025. Um, Sienna Birch. Graduating doing Bob Jones Homeschool. And she is in the fall, she's just continuing employment with Kiefer Dental. Woo! Yeah. Sebastian Garcia. Graduating from Stephen High School. Going to Shadron State College. All right. So these are our graduates. So if y'all can, yeah, scoot down a little bit. Like, and then turn around, turn around. I want to talk to you. Oh, well, so I have a few scriptures I want to say to you. Uh, first of all, I'm proud of y'all. I'm excited for y'all. Um, I'm sad at the same time, but we're not going to get into that. Um, I have two scriptures I want to tell you. And they both come from Joshua. When Joshua and the Israelites were leaving this period of time in the wilderness, and they were entering into the promised land, God... God gave some commands through Joshua. And the first one is from Joshua 1.9. This is, this is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Whether you're going off to college, working, whatever it may be that you're, is the next step. In that process, trust in God. Trust him. And then the second one is also from Joshua. Uh, when the Israelites were getting ready to go into the promised land, he gave them a command and it was, purify yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do great wonders among you. And the process of trusting God, also put when, in putting your faith in him, purify yourselves, live holy as you walk into these next seasons of life because the world is gonna throw everything at you. But God is going to do amazing things with you. He's going to do amazing things in your life. So in this season right now, as you step into the next season, step into it wholly. So here's what I want to do. We're going to pray. And family, when we pray, I want you, like, family, go ahead and just come on up and gather around them. Pastor, Miss Donna. Um, as I pray for you, your family's here and we're going to all pray. And we're going to trust that God is going to do three things. You're going to walk in three things. Favor, blessing, and increase as you trust in God. And we are going to anoint with oil because as someone would step into a new season, they were always anointed. Church, will you extend your hands and pray blessing? God, we pray over these students. Father, I pray that you would anoint them, that you would touch them that your favor would pour out upon them, that God, you would bless them in mighty ways, that they would walk in favor, blessing and increase everywhere that they go, that God, you would move in a mighty way that as they step from this season to the next season, they would follow your commands, they would walk holy, they would trust in you, that Jesus, they would be anointed to speak your word, to step into situations where they bring change, to step into situations where they are able to walk with a maturity and a leadership that's far beyond their years. Father, I pray, pray that you would bless them mightily. Jesus, that you would give them wisdom in workplaces. You would give them wisdom in college. You would give them wisdom among peers. That God, you would touch their minds that they would dig into the scripture 
and that when they would walk into these situations, you would bring it to mind, that you would remind them of your word. You would remind them of your promises for them. You would remind them of who you've called them to be more so than what they are to do. That God, they would be anointed. Jesus, I pray right now that Father, everywhere that they go, we would see the world change. Father, that we would hear stories of how they have rocked each of these campuses, each of these workplaces, that Father, that they, as they walk from this season, the season of being a student, the student of, a, stu- uh, a season of being at home, to stepping out into this world, that Father, they would be ready for whatever the enemy will throw at them. They would be ready for whatever the world might throw at them. That Father, they would be strengthened. They would be encouraged. Jesus, I pray that right now you move over them in a mighty way. That your presence would go with them. That like the Israelites as they left the wilderness and stepped into the promised land, that God, they would be known because you are with them. They would be known because your presence has gone before them. That God, they would consecrate themselves. They would live holy. That God, no temptation of the enemy would get a hold of them. That no temptation or lie would seep into their mind. That Father, they would be protected. That favor, blessing, and increase would follow them everywhere that they go. That your favor would pour out upon them. God, that they would walk into situations and have uncommon favor that people would be drawn to them because of the light that's in them. Jesus, we thank you that you have protected them all the way to this moment. And God, I pray that that continues and carries with them. Jesus, I pray that you would bless their families to be able to trust you as they step out. Father, we just give you glory for what we were going to do and what the stories we will hear, the lives that we will hear about being changed, God. God, we give you glory. Jesus, we thank you for you are good. Jesus, we love you. And we pray that you would pour out blessings over every one of them. In your name we pray. Amen and amen. Can you all give it up for them? <laughs> Students. Graduate, graduates, we love y'all. And we're excited. You got this. All right? Amen. And amen.